Welcome back to M3 Wood. This is King of the Course episode two. So if you haven't checked out episode one, there's a link right up here. I'll put a link in the description right down below. Go check it out. But if you have checked it out, then you know what's about to go down. We got a par three coming up and I'm trying to take the crown from that man right there. Hmm? The hmm? Hmm? Are you even here? Do you even know where you're at? No. Wake up little man. <laughs> so, par threes, uh, A will be hitting from the greens, because um, normally plays from 150. Obviously, I'll be from the tips, and Puma right here will be playing from the whites. But Puma, you lost the last hole, so you're out right now. I'm gone. You're out. I'm invisible. I don't matter. Doesn't matter. Somebody shaved me. Shaved you? Yeah. Shaving my piano. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just shaving my piano. All right, I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna try and send something close, put a little pressure on the king. Oh, I bailed it out left. All right, Abe, I definitely didn't put any fear in you. Played a nice safe shot. Not my intention. I wanted to throw a dagger and get you a little threatened, but you are playing from the greens. What are you hitting here, a three wood? Yeah. We're still rocking the driver. Three wood. Are you going to try and go at the flagstick or are you going to try and play it out left? I'm going to try to like hit it right and Alright, so just kind of playing out left, trying to stay alive for the hole. Alright, here's the king right now from the greens. Oh, he's going right at it. Hopefully it's enough. Oh yeah, took a good bounce. Rolled right up onto the green. Boy, you're going to be tough to beat with shots like that. Yeah, good ball, good ball. What, are you walking around like you're blind or something? Maybe that's a video we shoot, little blindfolded Abe. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, guys, I stuck one real close. Don't think he's going to beat that. You're not close. You're just on the I am close. You got like 40 feet. Closer than him. Mm-hmm. down just didn't go down didn't go down up there got a putt for par but abe is on the green putting for birdie all right abe do you need that other ball marked no, I okay all right here's abe putting for his two. Oh, had to swat something there That's going to be well short. That was reminiscent of our playoff. I believe the three worst words to hear. Are you ready? I am short. You're still out. All right, here's Abe to try and stop himself from three putting. But the beauty of a three putt is he'll still put it up for and get a four if he three putts. I'm trying to get a three here. Put the pressure on me. Right at it. Just left it short again. Woo, you used all of the hole for that one. Good four. Put the pressure on me. If I make this, though, I'm taking that crown. No, he's not. If I don't make this or I don't beat you, Puma's got to battle you. From You're at 150. Next hole's a par five. And Puma's got to play from the whites. So I'm assuming you're rooting for me here. Oh, he missed it. Got it. Oh. Three. That crown will be mine. Oh, sad. Hello, sadness, my old friend. I'm not sad. I'm just not happy. <laughs> oh, 
all moms say, I'm not mad at you, I'm disappointed. Oh, disappointed. All right, now I did take that crown off the last hole, which I was saying on the green, it's probably a good thing because had Abe won that, the next hole is a par five, and Puma and I would have been battling him. It actually would have been Puma battling him from the whites on a par five as Abe gets hit from 150. Instead, I made that par putt. Whew. And now I'm battling Puma on the par five. I'm from the tips, Puma's from the whites. Let's see what we can't do. Big hitter stepping up. This is about a uh, 545 yard par five. No clue. He's got uh, a little trouble on both sides. It's important that he splits the rails on this one. There's no third rail involved. But he's been driving well, so. He's pulling it. He's pulling it, but better to pull than to slice her out of here. Here's the shot. Oh, goodness. She gone. Awesome. That's gonna make it pretty hard to keep this crown. <laughs> down there. the middle, good shot. That is down the middle straight. Ah! Who did that one first shot he's thinking? That is frustrating folks. I'm now right down the middle, lane three. I tell you what though, that is golf right there. You know, the whole time up to this point, I've been pulling my drive, come up to a hole where it's really important to not slice it, and what do I do? Slice it. Now here's the beauty of it, right? It's expectation, so I gotta be happy. I'm now hit a shot that I'm happy with. I'm laying three, see if I can't get something close. Maybe get up and down for bogey uh, and put the pressure on Puma. Golf happens, so we'll get Puma's tee shot coming up here and See what goes see what goes on from there. I'll hold it, but hit those trees and still got through. All right. That's the beauty of playing in the whites right there. All right, all right. You got through. You'll be got just through. short of the junk up there. I am. And you're in the driver's seat right now. I got a credit card on that one. Sure you did. <laughs> all right, Puma. Yep. Driver's seat engaged. I have seat belt function is on is on you're a lot of i've got uh about a uh go for it kind of hard swing on the i'm gonna use a i'm gonna use the whopper sure and i'll leave the schmoogie in the bag yeah i mean you're in the driver's seat you're laying one i'm laying three i'm in the fairway you're off to the left still a pretty open shot yeah give it a whirl give it a whirl about. as always puma one. ball cart it's not puma about. ball cart as always Good ball right up the middle. Gonna be pretty short coming out of this thick stuff, but. It'll have to work for me today. It'll have to. I think uh, my third shot's about 600 yards out. I'll use probably a wedge. But it's only a 580 hole. I went backwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> go bigger, go home, man. See it? Well, sometimes you get up and you're surprised by the elegance of the swing and what produces what will be a good lie. I think uh, the big hitter's probably worrying a little too much because I think I saw it stay safe. But we'll know if he's in checked in the hotel or if he's out in the parking lot. I tell you right now, folks, it is not good. Hit that one off the toe. I had to go for it uh, in the situation that I was in, put myself there. But we'll see if we can't find it and then I can try and get something out. See if I can't get lucky. All right, we are up to Puma's ball. Puma, you gotta be 130. Um, I'm gonna say, yeah, that's about right. Normally you shouldn't be happy being 130 out laying two. Yeah. However, however, it's a different day today. <laughs> it is today for yeah. you. I've pretty much given you a gift. You have. Don't well, return it. No. It's, it's past 30 days. You got to keep it now. 
Water's turning red and frogs are coming out of the sky. All right, right okay. Is it pigs flying? Pigs flying. You narrowly avoided that divot right there. Pretty straight. Did you grab enough club? Oh, what a bounce. Bounced up on, gonna roll. That's gotta be pretty close. So good, that time what I did was, I used the Mandalorian philosophy. Sure. Swing, if you can see it, you don't have to see it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, you know what? You're in there tight. I am not in a good predicament. I am going to concede this hole. Puma, I'm gonna give you the crown. For this hole, I will just concede it. Uh, <laughs> you deserve it, man. Nobody deserves anything in this uh, world. You I have just, to take it. You, you took it. You took it. I think I did. So that means after this hole, it will be Puma versus the little man. All right, I'll take that. Obviously that hole did not go as I had planned. Uh, ironically, if I'm counting the strokes I actually took when it was all said and done, it would have been a birdie. However, that is the huge part about staying in play in golf. When I flare my drive off and now I'm teeing up three, and when I put another one out into the Noma, I gotta take a drop, it takes a bird and makes it a seven. So I actually double bogeyed that hole, even though I only took four shots. It's the painful part, Puma ended up getting a par there. Um, obviously, I conceded the hole no matter what, so it didn't matter. So now we have Puma on a par three. Little man, you're back into the battle ring. Yay! Yeah, baby, yeah, baby. And actually, folks, once again, I have taken myself out of the last hole of the episode. Once again. So now, to end episode two, it will either be Puma or Abe as king again. Wouldn't that be crazy if Abe actually won it and he's been king at the end of both episode one and episode two? All right, Puma. Yep. Got yourself a tough little par three. It's a tough one. What you got working here for you? I'm gonna try and get it as close to the hole as I can. Okay, that's a good strat. And then... Is this the Whopper or the Smoog? This is the Whopper. The Whopper. Smoog can't go that hard unless I... I feel like it goes between Whopper and Whopper. This is... <laughs> it probably is. Yeah. It probably is. Oh, good ball. It's going to ride at the green. Get up. Oh, good ball. That's a good ball right there, though. Put a little pressure on the little guy. Somebody wants to be king at the end of this episode. The little guy hadn't had much pressure all day. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's in his favor. This whole world is his. Yeah, but not anymore. Not where you just did it. I did okay. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, I'll take it. I'll bank it. And I'll stank it. Up. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah. I'm going to check into the hotel. I'm not the parking lot. There we go. All right. We got Abe from the green tees. Oh, backwards hat. Game mode activated. <laughs> Can't bite my I like it. Mm. We'll just call it game mode after. Sure. Way left. You're in way left. Way even more. You got to Yeah. Oh, good ball. Get up. You're just on the hill left. Not a bad shot. Game mode activated for sure. For sure. We got a battle between this man and this man. All right. Folks, Puma is putting for bird on this treacherous hole 18. Get in. Whew. Normally that would be close to a gimme, but not right now. No, no, no. Not, not where we're at here. Yeah, he knows he doesn't want to putt that. Ape for his three. No, that was for my four. Three, not four. All right, Puma, you make this, you win. I do. And you'll be the king. I win. 
at the end of episode two. Abe taking the Abe taking the classless route. Oh! Did it hit his ball? Nope, it did not. Puma's now got to make this for a little closest to playoff. Boy, things have taken a tragic turn. There you go. And that's, folks, that is why on this hole, you can't give those gimmies. So, I, even though I don't get a chance to compete for the hole, I get to pick it. So, why don't we pick, looks like yesterday's, yesterday's hole. So, challenger first. Okay, Abe, mark that, because that is right in the line. It seems as though Puma was turned around, and we will now see. Hopefully, it should be pretty clear, uh, but Abe's marking his just in case. Oh my goodness. That was, once again, folks, I apologize for our playoffs. No, you were not there. Puma! Yeah. I feel like you shouldn't with what you just did right there. That is the end of episode two. Puma is now the king. So don't forget to check back for the finale of King of the Course. To start episode three, I'll be taking on the Poom Dog. Poom Dog? Poom Cat. We'll see what happens from there. Don't forget to smash the like button, share with a friend, and as always, hit the like bucket. Hit the like bucket. Check you later. Oh, nothing, I was just shaving my piano.